administration using the crack cocaine drug trade to finance Nicaraguan Contras. Or take Deborah Jean Palfrey, the D.C. madam who had... Perhaps We're actually going to repost that video uh, right now, right, right when I'm done with this. You can look at the other instances of people who said they were going to come out and expose government corruption, and then they end up dead. Now, it's interesting, that spy had obtained Clinton's diary and passed it on to a friend. So obviously, that put him on, uh, well, I'm pretty sure that's what put him on the hit list. Guys, what do you think, wrapping it up here today? Well, just when we talk about all these people... Um, who had no desire to commit suicide, whether DC Madam or uh, Gary Webb, and then all of a sudden, you know, they die under these suspicious circumstances, then it's just, oh, it's a suicide, and nobody questions it. Right. You know, even though it, no matter how suspicious these circumstances can be, nobody will question it because they heard it on their favorite news channel. Mess with the Clintons, get killed. That's it. That's how you end up part of the Clinton body count. Sorry to Taylor, Cash, and Philip. Uh, we're not going to have time to get to you guys, but. You can uh, see more reports are going to be here in the nightly news tonight, 7 p.m. Central. Leanne McAdoo will be hosting, and uh, we're going to have a whole host of other things. We're going to repost this report about the spy in the bag. This We produced that report back in November of two, uh, 2013. So two years ahead, now the mainstream media is talking about it once again. And uh, we'll never, probably never get to the bottom of that death or the any of the others as long as we let these control freaks stay in power. So have your cell phone camera handy, and anytime you see news, shoot it. And then send it to us. <laughs> Here's Show my tips. email, Rob D, Rob D at InfoWars.com. Rob D at InfoWars.com. I love getting your tips. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow, 11 p.m. 11 a.m.